Hi everybody, welcome to Good Taste and welcome to the HEB Plus at Blanco in 1604. And I'm with Ralph, my wine guy, always the go-to expert on wonderful wines. And there's yeah. some fun new ones to try, right? I, I love to find good values uh, for the quality and, and, and I think uh, uh, Oregon makes some wonderful wines. Perfect uh, growing yes. weather for Pinot Gris, uh, Chardonnay and Pinot Noir. This is the Underwood Pinot Gris from Oregon. It's going to have a really nice uh, concentration, a nice acidity. Look at the uh, color. Mm -hmm. It's going to be, if you like something just a, a, a little bit crisper and cleaner, that's the, that's the way Pinot Grigios are. They're going to, uh, it's going to have nice melon, uh, maybe some pineapple and that some pear. Nice. You can do some like maybe pork stir fry. You want something uh, really nice and light to go with it. Yeah. Pinot, Pinot Gris uh, for around $13. I think it's a good value. So Pinot Gris and Pinot Grigio basically are the same thing. Same, same thing. Sometimes yeah. it's same just great. the region that makes the difference that's in how correct. it tastes. That's yeah. nice. That's right. I like that. Okay. Underwood. I'm used to seeing Underwood in the cans. Uh, we sell that as well. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the next wine is out of Spain. This is the Aldanza Classico. I love wines from Spain. Mm, me as well. The Tempranillo grape is the primary grape that's in this. And then it also has a little bit of Cabernet and some Syrah. Dash of Merlot in there as well. Low alcohol, 13%. 13%. You know, it used to didn't be this yeah. way, but now 13% is considered pretty low alcohol. That's right, that's right. This is nice ripe red fruit, pretty nice balance, cranberry, some uh, blackberry and plum, a little hints of vanilla on this. If you're looking for something that goes great with like maybe some lamb meatballs, this, mm -hmm. is, uh, this is a perfect compliment. Yeah, a roasted meat would be nice with that because of the acidity, it'll kind of yep. cut through on that. Very nice. Around $15, it's a great value. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah. Of course, uh, continuing with the series of 19 crimes, we have quite a bit of different 19 crimes wines now. This is, a, <laughs> this, is this out of southeastern Australia. This is their blend. So okay. it's a... Uh, you know, they don't really list the blend on here or on our tech sheet that I kind of study before these segments, but it has a, it tastes like it has a little bit of Cabernet, some Merlot, and maybe some Syrah well, on this. The funny thing about these wines, every time I recommend the 19 Crimes anything, they do a variety of wines, mm -hmm. I get feedback, like, why are you recommending a wine that's called Crimes? Mm -hmm. It's got a fun backstory. That's right. You know, these people were sent away from Britain to Australia mm -hmm. because of crimes they committed, and most of them started whole new lives. So there's an upside to the name, not necessarily a downside, right? That's right. That's right. This is going to be a red that's not going to be uh, super heavy. Nice weight, but a very smooth finish. Blackberry plum. Oh, wow. R really nice brown little finish on this. <laughs> and totally. for yeah, around $12, good. it's a great value. And actually, they have yeah. the, I don't know if you've ever seen the app for this. You can download an app and and it makes the label talk, no, which I, th I thought yeah. was pretty nice you, little conversation piece. It, it is. They're fun. You get to hear the story behind the live and uh, it's fun, it's, it's a cool, fun little brand. And that, for 12 bucks, right. that's a nice wine. Mm -hmm. I love it. And of course, as always, when you buy any six or more bottles of wine, you can mix or match a six pack, receive a 10% discount off that already low sale price uh, yep. when you buy six or more bottles of wine. Best deal in town? Best deal. All right, thanks, Thank Ralph. you, Tangie. That's good.